the number of large addresses holding Ethereum held on non-exchange wallets tapped a new all-time high, AMB Crypto noted. In the same vein, the top 150 exchange wallets have been decreasing. On-chain data from Sandman also showed that the exchange wallets could be on the verge of hitting the lowest point uh, since June 2018. At press time, the supply held by the top non-exchange addresses was 43.41 million. This increase is a sign that many market participants are buying ETH at a fast weight to 1.9 million minus, um, also keeping the altcoin in self-custody and shredding the number held on exchanges means that the intent to sell was almost non-existent. Um, and it did not put them anymore and suspected of them. Um, and so this was evident in Ethereum's price action. As of this writing, ETH changed hands at $2,261. The coin might be on its way to retest the $2,444 resistance. If ETH hits and breaks the resistance, there is a high chance that the price will cross the $2,500 mark. In the long term, many predictions agree that the principal active provider and consistent of marketing processing may be the OPIC infection, uh, but the projected rally might not happen uh, in the short term. Uh, this was because of the exchange inflow and outflow at the time of writing um, ETH's exchange inflow was 36,000. Um, on the other hand, um, the exchange outflow um, was 25,000. AMB Crypto uncovered that the recent selling pressure Ethereum faced was the reason the inflow outpaced the outflows. If ETH is starting to high $2,500, then the selling pressure must be decreased. Like the exchange flow, the Ethereum seven-day realized volatility showed that buying the coin for the short term could be risky. Realized volatility shows the standard deviation of returns from the mean return of a market. Uh, when the value is low, the realized volatility indicate a phase of low risk in that market. As a measure of the log returns over a certain window, the read metric reading at 58.18% indicated that price fluctuations might be extreme for now. So traders targeting short-term gains may need to halt opening long or short contracts for now. If they do, they could end up biting their fingers in regret. However, the mid to long-term looks promising for the Ethereum plan. This was confirmed by the state of the exponential moving average as shown by the daily chart. As of this writing, the 50 EMA had crossed over the 200 EMA yellow. This position is considered bullish for those planning on hodling ETH. Should the position remain the same, then ETH may jump 50% in a few months while crossing the $3,000 mark. How much are 10,100 ETH worth? Today, another indicator considered is the super trend. At press time, the super trend indicator was below ETH's price. This confirms the bearish trend initially mentioned, uh, but as highlighted earlier, the trend is not a sign for traders to open short positions, irrespective of the RSI's decrease.